Good afternoon, everybody, and Happy New Year. This is Chick Hearn with Mel Allen. Happy New Year, everybody. Speaking of... Here we go. It's going down to the three-yard line taken by Dick LeBeau. He's to the 15, up to the 20, and down at about the 22 by Bob Peterson. Our master's in that end and splits out to the right. But there is Bob White, the pullback again, going up to the 40. First period of the 44th Rose Bowl game, no score. A pitch to Clark, getting a block, and there he goes to midfield. He's to the 40 of Oregon. He's to the 30. Don Clark getting a beautiful block in there, finally stopped by Jim Linden. The ball on the Oregon 38 and a half yard line. Krimblis passing, and he's got Jim Houston the 20 to the 10, and he is across the five and down at about the two yard line. Stopped by Charlie Turbo, the right halfback. Scoring position. Woody Hayes always said he had a passing attack when he needed one, and Krimblis again sneaking, and he is in there. Touchdown, Ohio State. Dick Shafrath leading him through, and Bill Jopko. That 36-yard pass play set it up for the Buckeyes with the University of Oregon Webfoots displaying unusually good defensive strength until that pass set up the TD with Trembla sneaking over with Shafrath and Jobko leading him through. And now the try for the point, Canavino holding, and Kremblis will try the point. It is good. Score. Ohio State, seven. Oregon, nothing. Again, that open setup with Kimbrough, the left end, split out. And the quick pass is completed to Stover, and he's to the 30, and to the 25, and fumbles, and Ohio State recovers. Moment of Ohio State Assistant Athletic Publicity Director for Spotting Ohio State and our ever-present observer, Larry Allen, who has been spotting Oregon. Chuck Osborne in at fullback for Oregon, first and 29. Crabtree's pass to Stover again, and he's trying to go, and he gets past midfield to the Buckeye, 48. And Stover has just been great. It is second down coming up. And 11, a minute and 48 seconds left. 10 to 7, Ohio State. And Patrick tries to run. He gets to about the 42. The Buckeye secondary all went back. Dick Shaprath made the tackle. Joe Schaffel led the offensive block in there. It is third down coming up with five to go for a first down, a minute and 20 seconds to go, 10 to 7 Ohio State, and the Webfoots are trying valiantly against the Buckeyes. And a great play by Aurelius Thomas, or rather Jim Houston, the left end, number 84, drops Crabtree at midfield, and down the far sideline was Alden Kimbrough all alone. And there are 58 seconds left in the game, and 57, and the seconds tick off. The ball is on the Ohio State 49-yard line. The Buckeyes leading 10 to 7. It is fourth down and 12. And this is probably it for Oregon. Let's watch. Everybody is standing up now. And Crabtree throws, and it is incomplete at the 35. Ron Stover, the intended receiver. It was almost intercepted by Joe Canavino. The clock is stopped with 39 seconds left. A great try by the Webfoots. For one, and so here may be the last play of the game, and Kremblis sneaking just goes down on the ground, and one second, and the game is over. Ohio State wins it, 10 to 7. John Robinson got in the game, want to give him credit for Oregon. And so the 44th Rose Bowl game is just about over, not quite till they get the goalpost torn down, which is always traditional. And uh, Len Casanova, the coach of Oregon, is uh, being carried off the field for a great coaching job, which he did. Even though the Webfoots lost it, 
as he's being carried off the field and Woody Hayes and his Buckeyes of Ohio State who lost only one game last season that was the opener and came along magnificently to be rated by one uh, group as the number one team in the country and it was a tremendous ball game which we thoroughly hope you enjoy and the final score Ohio State 10 the University of Oregon 7 in a moment we'll review the highlights of the game for you.